Hi there. Uh, my name is Stanley Gold, and for the last 30 years, I've been a uh, Porsche collector. Uh, collector. Uh, back in uh, 1989, I bought my first new Porsche, began to read the literature, and got enamored with the uh, older cars, the 356s. Seemed like the guys who owned those were having the most amount of fun. Um, though lately, in the last couple of years, I've, uh, uh, I've gotten rid of most of the race cars and rally cars uh, and have decided to uh, 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 collect Porsche Speedsters. So I'm in the process of trying to get one of every Porsche Speedster model uh, that they've done. I'm about halfway through uh, uh, putting that collection together. So uh, I thought uh, I, I'd take you along and show you what I have in the garage today. It is, uh, it is basically uh, uh, a collection under uh, somewhat of a change. You'll see I've still got some cars that uh, are not speedsters but uh, are favorites of mine. But uh, let me take you down and I'll show you the cars and uh, uh, we can uh, uh, get a little bit of information on each one of them. Okay, I thought I'd uh, start by uh, showing you one of my uh, newest, ac newest uh, acquisitions. Uh, this is a 54 um, Porsche 356 Speedster. Uh, for those who know uh, a lot about Porsches, you'll know that uh, uh, they made Speedsters in uh, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and then they uh, wait until they get to the 911s. Uh, and they do one in uh, um, uh, 89, 94, uh, and then, of course, uh, 2019. So uh, I've got a bit of uh, all of these, uh, uh, but this one is special. Uh, we've just finished the restoration on it. It is car number 35. So this is the 35th Speedster ever made by Porsche in 1954, which was their first uh, year of production. Uh, it is. Um, it came to us and it was a project, uh, had a fair amount of rust, uh, had the wrong engine in it, but it came with the matching engine. So we've now, of course, uh, redone the uh, engine and put the original matching engine back into the car uh, and totally uh, redone the car. So it's a fabulous car, um, primitive, because uh, it's 54, uh, but uh, a lot of fun. You'll also notice as we go through the cars, uh, on the uh, uh, on either a convertible or a speedster, I usually keep the tops up uh, when they're in the garage because that helps stretch it and keep the top uh, in shape and form. Uh, although, yeah, I, let me assure everybody that uh, when I drive them, unless it's raining, uh, the top is down. Uh, the whole uh, beauty of driving a speedster uh, is to get the uh, the wind in your hair uh, and face. So. Anyways, this is a, this is a 54 uh, Speedster. Next one I can show you is at the other end of the cycle, and that is uh, what I call a brand new Speedster. It is the 2019 uh, Speedster. Uh, the first thing is to compare just the size of the car with the 54. You can see it has grown enormously, uh, obviously very powerful. Um, interesting, uh, Porsche uh, in 2019 when it made this in a limited run, uh, they're all stick. They didn't come with any uh, uh, PDKs, uh, so uh, I like that. Uh, it's like the older ones, uh, it's a, uh, a full gear shift and uh, a lot of fun to drive. It is very quick, uh, uh, but it also has all the creature comforts uh, of a modern car, which is, uh, makes it nice as well. Uh, this is one of my favorite cars. Uh, it is a 1994 uh, Speedster, uh, and uh, it is, um, uh, it, it's got perfect balance. Of course, it's no, nowhere near as quick as the uh, 2019, but I, I like it enough that I use it as a, at least a semi-daily driver. I drive it around town. I had a new uh, uh, Porsche 
digital radio put into it so I can listen to uh, uh, Sirius XM and I can get my phone and I've got a, 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 a guidance system in it. Uh, it is, uh, in, in many respects, the car fits me just perfect. I like it, it's balanced. Uh, I take it out on uh, sort of uh, day rallies with uh, uh, a couple of uh, friends who are into cars up in the Malibu Hills or the Angeles National Forest, and it, is, it, it stays with any car, and uh, it is, it, it's, it's a dream to drive. So uh, this, is, uh, this is the 94. This car uh, is an 89. Uh, it is a wonderful car. Um, again, much like the 94, it's got a lot of uh, handleability, uh, I would call it. Uh, it keeps to the road, it's easy to drive, uh, got an easy gearbox, uh, and, uh, and so it's, uh, uh, it's a wonderful car um, and, uh, and clearly a, a part of the, uh, the new permanent collection for me. We'll go back a little bit older now. This is a, a 58 Speedster. Again, uh, it was a bit of a project. It has a matching engine, matching tranny, uh, and uh, I've run this car a number of times in the California Miele uh, and a couple of other uh, local rallies. Uh, uh, it, it, it's pure driving. It's, it's a minimalist car. You want to keep the top down, no radio, no nothing, just pure driving. If you get it out in the woods, in the mountains, in the, in the forest, uh, uh, it's uh, one of the best feelings in the world. So. Uh, I've, uh, I've had a lot of enjoyment uh, uh, competing in this car and, uh, and so I'm, uh, I'm very fond of it. So this is a special Speedster. It is a Carrera Speedster. Uh, it's a 56 matching engine, uh, but the engine uh, is a 4-cam engine. Uh, Porsche, in order to make uh, these cars more competitive, these 356s uh, in the 50s, uh, put a, uh, a two liter uh, or a one, I think it's one seven, one eight liter engine in them. And they, uh, uh, they were very competitive. A lot of uh, famous uh, people in the, uh, Southern California uh, raced them in, in, in local races. Uh, they performed very well uh, against the British uh, and German imports at the time. Uh, so uh, this is a, uh, a wonderful car uh, with a very big engine and uh, uh, it, uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's one of my favorites. Uh, I've had a number of cars over the years with Carrera engines, uh, four cam engines I should say, uh, uh, a 904, uh, an RS61 um, and uh, so I, uh, uh, I, I like them. Uh, you got to keep them high at revs uh, but uh, once you learn to drive them, uh, they've got a lot more uh, pickup, a lot more uh, get up and go on them. So this is a, a, a wonderful Carrera Speedster. This car is a 1959 uh, Convertible D. Not technically a Speedster, it doesn't carry the Speedster badge, but most Speedster collectors will tell you uh, it, it is a Speedster. It is minimalist, just like uh, uh, the, the 58 Speedster. The only thing that's different in this car is it's got a full windshield as opposed to a small windshield uh, so that uh, American drivers who are, who, are, who are actually a little larger than, the, than their European counterparts fit better into this car. It was only made one year. Uh, the uh, convertible D, the D stands for Drowse, which was the uh, manufacturer of the body. Uh, but uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a speedster. We've had it out. Um, it's, the it's the second uh, convertible D I've owned. Uh, and uh, uh, I like the car. It has all the driving uh, um, uh, capabilities of a, uh, of a speedster. Uh, the only thing is it's got the raised windshield and a little bit more headroom. Uh, in terms of the convertible top. Uh, although, as I told you, uh, it's a sin to drive these cars with the top up uh, uh, unless it's raining. So uh, that, that's the, the Speedster collection uh, to, to where I've taken it so far. Uh, if anybody listening to this program's got a 55 or 56 uh, uh, push rod or any Carrera uh, Speedster, uh, please give me a call. I'm still looking to acquire it. And I'm also looking to acquire uh, a, a 2011 uh, Speedster, which of course is in the 911 body uh, style. 
This car, uh, sometimes called the number two car or the blue, uh, the blue blur, is a 74 uh, Porsche 911, but it is totally um, re-engineered. It's got a 3.8 uh, engine. It's got all electronic. This is the this is one of the quickest cars I've ever uh, driven. Uh, it is, in many respects, uh, Patrick Long, who's a friend. Uh, it's his favorite street car. He takes it out and drives it uh, as well. And so uh, I, I acquired it a couple of years ago, uh, and it's another car that I take up into the hills with my, uh, uh, my one-day rally buddies and uh, uh, put it through its paces. And it's got a very short shifter like a race car, uh, and so it's, it's easy to go up and down the hills. Uh, at, uh, at wonderful speed. So this is the second Porsche uh, I ever restored. It is a 1965 356 C car. Um, it is not a speedster, it's just a cabriolet, uh, but it is probably the most perfect car that I have. When I say perfect, it won a number of uh, concourses uh, throughout the United States, Porsche parade points, uh, local concourses. Uh, it, uh, I've spent a lot of time getting this car to be exact. It even comes uh, with matching luggage, which was available at the time uh, this car was sold. So I ended up acquiring some matching luggage to go with this car. Uh, I've taken this car all over. It, my wife likes driving in it. In fact, the last rally we did was about two, three years ago. Uh, we did um, the Holy Land 1000, which was a five-day rally uh, through Israel. Uh, and I've got a wonderful picture of my wife and myself uh, in the Negev desert with the hair flowing top down, of course. Uh, and it was, uh, it, it was a lot of fun. So it's a very good car. It's been with me a long time. And I suspect even though I'm moving to speedsters, uh, this one will stay in the collection for a very long time. Uh, this is a 1963 Carrera II uh, Coupe with a relatively rare sunroof. Again, when I say Carrera, this has a, uh, a four cam, two liter engine in it. Uh, it was the principal car that I did rallies in, uh, uh, in Europe, uh, Liège, Rome. I must have done six or seven uh, Tour autos, Tour de France autos uh, in the car. Um, you'll notice it's got a roll bar in it. Um, uh, I beat it up in those rallies, brought it home uh, uh, and uh, restored it again. I think it's gone through two restorations with me. Uh, I like it. It is quick. Uh, if it looks a little dirty, it was out last Monday up in the hills with, uh, with the rally boys uh, and we kept up with uh, uh, the Alphas and uh, uh, the Mercedes. So uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, again, I'm very fond of the car and probably uh, uh, I'm not willing to give it up even though I'm moving towards speedsters. Okay, so this is a 1995 Porsche Speedster. Now if you heard me earlier, Porsche didn't make Speedsters in 1995. In fact, they made two. One went to Wolfgang uh, Porsche and the other to the then current CEO of the company. And I believe both those cars are in collections. I think one's in Wolfgang's collection and one of them's in the uh, Porsche Museum collection. But an enterprising young man in Las Vegas decided he'd build the third one. So it's built on a nine, 1995 Porsche cab body, but he went and bought all of the uh, speedster parts and assembled it as a speedster, uh, changed uh, uh, the windows, uh, uh, the, the back uh, of the car, and so uh, it's very unique. Uh, it's not from the factory, but it is a, a, a replica of what the factory did in two specific instances. And again, this car drives wonderful, uh, and uh, I spend a lot of time uh, 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 driving uh, up in the hills and rallying with this car as well. Uh, very special car, uh, a lot of fun to drive.